Oh my god, you're so cute. Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So like I have said before, I have owned chinchillas for quite some time. So I can honestly say that these fluffy monsters are not for everyone. In this video, I'm gonna give you my pros and cons on owning a chinchilla. Let's get started. Pro one, they have easy diets and they don't overeat. My first pro is chinchilla's daily maintenance is actually quite low. Their diet is very easy to maintain because it is just pellets and hay, whereas a lot of other rodents require fresh foods in their diet to get everything they need nutritionally. Also, chinchillas will only eat what they absolutely need to throughout the day. They do not overeat like a lot of other animals. So I know a lot of chinchilla owners will change out their hay every other day. As long as there's hay in the cage, they will not overeat it and become overweight. They will eat exactly what they need for the day. Did you know that a chinchilla is the softest animal in the world? This brings me to my next pro. They are super soft and very interactive and playful. Chinchillas are quite interactive and playful. They're the softest animals in the world, and although they're not the cuddliest, they're not gonna sit in your lap, they are very interactive with their owners. So many owners have a playpen where they can engage with their chinchilla. I have a couple recommendations for playpens in the description below, but like I said in my previous video, make sure you are supervising them because they are master escape artists. If you do give your chinchilla playtime, make sure to like this video to let me know. Also, if you have any stories or experiences, I would love to hear them in the comments. Is your chinchilla scared or is it super playful? And do you have any fancy setups? Comment your experiences below. I would love to hear them. So my next pro is this. How can you not get over how cute this is? Pro number three, chinchillas are clean and odorless. Chinchillas are very clean animals. I mean, they roll in dust to get all the oils off of them. So because of this, they actually don't have an odor like a lot of other rodents do, like rabbits, ferrets, rats they all have a certain like musky smell to them chinchillas are pretty much odorless but that doesn't mean that if you don't clean their cage they're not going to smell if their cage becomes saturated it's going to smell but them themselves is pretty much odorless chinchillas are a great option for a pet but they aren't right for everyone so this brings me to our con section here are all the negatives about owning a chinchilla Con number one, they're messy. Now dust baths are cute. However, dust and hair and poop gets everywhere. They do keep themselves very clean, but otherwise are very messy. First, you get dust and hair that is just floating in the air. And then you also have the poop. They poop everywhere. They are poop machines. And I'm like very certain they poop and then slingshot it out of the cage because I find it in the strangest places. Con two, they may be very fluffy, but they are prone to heat stroke. Playtime is a great way to engage with your chinchilla. However, chinchillas are very prone to heat stroke. So during playtime or other exercise activities like a wheel or flying saucer, this can cause your chinchilla to have a hard time regulating their body temperature. Since they have dense, thick coats, running around in a warm area can be detrimental to their health. They are very prone to heat stroke. This is why chinchillas are crepuscular, which means they are awake during dawn and dusk, which is the coolest parts of the day. So they must be kept in a room that's under 72 degrees. Anything above that it will be harder for them to regulate their body temperature. So if you do not have AC in your house, the chinchilla is not the right pet for you. Also, since they are crepuscular, if you have a chinchilla in your bedroom, they may keep you awake at night.
My next con is they put their mouths on anything they can get their hands on. Oh. Ouch. He wants to bite me. He's a biter. There's nothing in my hands. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to take my ring. I'm trying to take my ring. Since we're still on the playtime topic, chinchillas also chew on everything. Even if it's just like an inch or two away from their cage, they somehow get it and pull it into their cage and consume it. That's why it's very dangerous to have any plastic or paper in their cage because they will put their mouth on it regardless of how much other toys you have in the cage. This brings me to my next con. Chinchillas live for a long time and they are quite expensive, so you'll be paying for them for up to 20 years. Their diet is very easy to maintain. However, chinchillas are quite expensive and they live for a long time. Since chinchillas are an exotic pet, they themselves can cost hundreds to even thousands of dollars, let alone all the stuff that you have to buy from them as well. Chinchillas may be playful, but that makes them have a large cage which makes them take up a lot of space. Chinchillas are high energy and require a large cage with lots of accessories and enrichment items in their cage. So not only is that expensive, but it takes up a lot of space in your house. So if you don't have a lot of space or you live in an apartment, a chinchilla might not be the right pet for you. After the initial cost of owning a chinchilla, you have to keep up with their food, their water, and replacing things that they have chewed on. Plus, in captivity, a chinchilla can live in a range from 10 to 20 years, which is very different from a lot of other rodents that live 3 to 4 years. You are probably now questioning if a chinchilla is the right pet for you. I did give you a lot of negatives. However, in my next video, I'm going to give you all of my secret tips and tricks on how I overcome those negatives. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified the next time I post. If after watching this video, you decide that a chinchilla is the right pet for you, make sure to check out my chinchilla care guide that you can download in the description below. And make sure to check out these videos next. And as always, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Are you going to call out my arm? <laughs>